Okay, hello, and welcome to our Christmas video. My name is Zada, I am also the Storm Meeple, and today we'll be doing a bit of a Christmas preview for the Games Workshop um, reveals that have come out today. I haven't seen anything, this is my first day, um, this is my first time actually seeing it, and so we'll be uh, switching over to, to have a look in a moment. So, Okay, so Warhammer Community website, Warhammer Community Home. I've got my earphones on in case I need to listen to any videos with you guys. Um, I don't know whether I can I can uh, I can do that without getting in trouble with GW, but let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so a number of reveals let's have a look at it hit knights habits and hecatari which i think means we're going to have the rest of the slaneshi stuff more sisters of battle and something to do with drakari because hecatari to me sounds like something we get with the drakari so let's have a look bugman's warhammer emporium as a very special present to all of the Warhammer fans in the world, we're sharing a glimpse of some of the incredible models coming your way on the 20, uh, on 2021. So put down those Brussels sprouts, see what's away for the Mortal Realms and the 41st Millennium. Okay, let's have a look. So the first one, earlier in the year, we showed off this Sister of Battle model, Palatine. See, I quite liked her. The only problem I had with, with this model is that it came out... Um, I mean, the Sister of Battle Codex is what? I think it's about a year old now, roughly about a year old. They came out in November last year. Um, they had their whole release, and it's like, it's not even been a year, and you're going to start throwing more models out. I wonder if these are going to be in one of the, um, if the rules for her are going to be in one of the books, one of the sort of like campaign books coming out. I hope so, because I, I don't really want to have to buy another Sisters of Battle Codex. Okay, so Piety and Pain. We're going to see the Sisters of Battle... Oh, okay, so we're going to see a Sisters of Battle box set facing off against the Jukari. Very nice. So what are we going to see in this box set? We're going to say... Okay, we've got a new Lilith Hesperex model. Okay, she's pretty cool. I like it. I'd like to see it in a 3D mode so that we can see... Okay, there we go. We can see the rest of her. Okay, all right. I was quite fond of the old Lilith Hesperex model. I don't mean that this, is any, this isn't a good model. I think it's a very nice model. It's very dynamic. Loving the way she's jumping, uh, sort of in mid-jump. Also a bit less, um, like a bit less of this sort of beauty and more of a gladiator. She's got abs, look at those abs. She's very, um, very well, uh, very well sort of designed. Also, she's not sort of as bosomy as the last one, showing a bit more sort of like armor plating. Um, yeah, yeah, I really like that. So the penalty is going to be face is going to be in that box set and facing off against uh, that. I mean, my girlfriend's going to love this because she likes Dark Elder. So I know if we get this box set, she's going to be stealing all the Dark Elder from me, and I'll probably get the um, uh, the Sisters of Battle. Not many Sisters of Battle I can see in that box, however. Um, so you've got Lilith Hesperex. What have we got in this box set? Let's have a look. Make it bigger. Hmm. So we've got what looks like five Scourges. Love Scourges. We've got the same for... We've got a Viper. We've got ten Witches. And we've got the new Lilith Hesperex. Against them, we've got the new Palatin model. We've got five Retributors, sorry, four Retributors, sorry, five Retributors and a tank. Um, it's either an Exorcist or, I can't remember what the other one's called, a Retributor or something like that, I can't remember. Um, all right, well, that will be a multi-build, so you could either have it as an Exorcist or you could have it as this one. Not a lot in that box, I have to say. You can't really start an army with that. That's my problem. There's no basic troop choice. 
for the Sisters of Battle, only a heavy weapon squad, a hero, and a tank. I'm not going to be negative about it. I think it could be very useful to some people, like me, for example. I have the, I have the start of, I had the start box set, the one which came out in November last year, and all of those things would be great for me. Really, really good for me. And over here on this side with the Drakari, that's not a bad little starter set. You've got a troop choice, the witches. You've got Lil Hesperex, who could be either a Cyberite model or a. Um, I think it's called a Sybarite or a Cyberite, I can't remember how it's pronounced. Um, and the Hesperex, who is just an awesome model, <laughs> an awesome character. Uh, Scourges, who can have heavy weapons, and uh, a transport, or, a, or, or a, well, it is a transport, which I don't think can really be used by anyone here. They can't carry ten witches. I think they can carry six models, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it's a bad box. I'm just saying that I can't really see... I can't really see it being bought as like a, a start collecting box set. Like, like as a, you know, you and your mate both want a new army. And so he buys it and gets the Lilith Hesperex model. You buy it and get the Sisters of Battle box set. Uh, the Sisters of Battle. Now, if there were five Sisters of Battle in there as well... Like a five-man squad of Sisters of Battle, which I don't think you can have. I think it has to be ten. Or um, five of their Seraphim, so Flyers as well. So you'd have like an equal amount. That might work, but I'm just not seeing it as a very... It doesn't look like a very balanced box set. It probably is balanced points-wise. But as an army... I wouldn't recommend that to anyone starting a new army. I would say, you know, um, and the problem is that's the only box set that the Sisters Battle have at the moment. That's a bit of a shame. Not bad. I mean, great things to have in the box. I mean, if you want to split it with a friend and it's 110 euros or something like that, or 120 euros, and you split it, you're making a saving. I mean, you get a model, a character model, that'd probably be about 20, um, 20 euros, or 25 euros for each character. The Hesperx might be more, because she's a, a special character. Um, you get heavy weapons, cho heavy weapons choice um, on both sides, again, pretty good. I don't know whether score just counts heavy or elites or fast attack. I'm assuming they're probably fast attack, but they could be they could be elites or heavy. I, I haven't I don't know how, what they're going to be in the new book, so it would depend. I mean that tank the 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 the, um, the exorcist or the um, I think it's called the retributor. I can't remember. Redeemer might be the redeemer. Um, it's a beautiful model. The new model is absolutely gorgeous. And I would be very happy to share that with someone and get those models in my army. I'd pay 70, 70 euros or whatever, 60, 70 euros and get that in my army. Because that would give me my troops choice, a heavy weapons choice, fast attack, a tank, um, my penitent engine, uh, a lieutenant to go with my... Um, my Canoness, and that would work for me. I don't think it would work for as a new player's army. I'm sorry, GW. I, I, I really like it, but I don't think it would work. I'm hoping we get a start collecting box set or a, co co a combat patrol box set, and that would, and then that and the combat patrol box set would work very well together. Maybe adding another twenty or fifteen power, twenty-five power, or something. Same with these guys over here. Nice core box set of Drakari. You know, with your troops choices, your 20 warriors and a, uh, um, a raider and a few things. 
I think the future Curry players are going to be a little bit disappointed. I think they were hoping for an update on some of these models. I mean, they're beautiful. They're very nice. Uh, Dark Elder models are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and uh, if I didn't have a, a problem playing Eldar, <laughs> I would probably be collecting. I mean, I, mean I, don't have a, I don't have a problem collecting Eldar. I mean, I love the Harlequins. But if I have a choice between Dark Elder and the Harlequins, I'd, I'd choose the Harlequins. You know, because I think they just look cooler and I love their fluff. Yeah. And I know that those are very old models. I remember when I was in Singapore, I bought a, a Christmas box set. And that must have been when I was about 21? 22? So those models are over 13 years old now. 12, 13 years old, except for her. Yeah, they're not bad, but they could do a little revamp, I think. Anyway, it's not a bad little box, but I would definitely say, and I've done, I said this before, sorry, I would say it's definitely a booster, a booster box, not an army box. So, tiny bit of a, a tiny bit of a missed opportunity I, I see there at the moment, but, um, it does, oh, that, that, that does make up for it, that beautiful Lydia Hesperix model. I mean, that, that's, that, uh, that um, Palatine model is going to get, she's going to get killed. Okay, it's Lydia Hesperix, yeah, she's going to die. A kind of a missed opportunity to have a Sisters of Battle special character, I think. Um, Their own, maybe another another special character for them. Sort of witch hunter or something. That would be kind of cool. Anyway. Not bad. Not a bad little thing. I love the hooks in the hair. I love the, um, the armour. I love the dynamism of that model. I would, I'm gonna, I would hate to paint that. I'm gonna leave that to my girlfriend to paint that. That's, 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 because uh, it's just all attached by one foot. I can see myself breaking that but uh, very cool okay now on to the age of sigma stuff that'll be great okay so from the grim darkness of the far future our festive sleigh takes us to the mortal realms in our last one preview online we showed off some of the, the incredible heat knights of slanesh models on the way including the Sigma magnificence let's share some more things that are coming starting with the amazing heat knights of slanesh battle tomb what lies in this extravagant tomb? First off, we have the Chosen Knights of the Dark Prince, the Slick Bayed Seekers. Yes, these guys were mentioned earlier on in, the, uh, in a war cry review. Because all the seeds of Slanesh, they set their heads and limbs with deadly glaives. Yeah, now those are cool. <laughs> oh my god. Those are really cool. Look at them, those are brilliant. Oh man eat your heart out hell stalkers and these tie so beautifully in with the um with, with the uh the stuff that's coming for warcry in the in the dark that came for warcry in the dark chasm box they've got that lovely same aesthetic how dynamic are those Oh, I love it. We've finally got a seeker with an open mouth. We've got, we've got a seed of Slanesh with an open mouth. They get to see what their mouth actually looks like. And it's not pleasant, folks. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, wow. Those guys are really cool. Yeah, I think I found my Chaos Faction. Them and Zinch, they'll be my Chaos Factions. And, and Skaven. Eat your heart out, Corn. Completely different aesthetic. Absolutely love them. What's next? Or, okay, so they've got an alternate build. If you prefer to build, bring pain from a distance, the Bliss, the bliss Barb Seekers will be right up your street. With the speed of their mounts, they can unleash a volley of arrows from a perfect position on the battlefield. So we now have Chaos Archers. These actually, what really gets me is these actually seem to be like, um, Illyrian Reavers <laughs> taking away the elves' uh, special um, sp special speciality. Look at that again. 
I'm loving all the little details. I mean, look, they got they got like piercings and all sorts of stuff. That's really cool. The decadent silks. Never shoot someone with a bow in that direction. I don't. Sh I don't shoot. Uh, I, I don't shoot bows, but I know people who do, and that's that's not a great way to shoot an arrow at anyone. That's awesome. Loving the aesthetic. They kind of got like the Dark Riders vibe to them, sort of like wrapped up in, in sort of silks and op sort of uh, protecting their faces from the dirt and the dust and the grime. Yeah, those are some really nice models. And I can see we've got some, I think we've got some male and female models there. Brilliant. Equal Opportunity Chaos God. These are the slan gores. A full unit of slan gores. Oh my god. Yeah, so these are like sort of like the minor tours of uh, they get like sort of like their own sort of minor tours. I love it, it's really cool. Really big. And then you got the Bliss Barb Archers on foot. Accompanied by a bliss brew homunculus who brews up especially toxic concoctions for the archers to dip their arrows in before firing them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm definitely seeing a, a, a thing here where <laughs> Slanesh is like, yeah, I'm not going to get into combat all the time because I like to actually shoot people and cause pain from afar. I like it. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Most of them are female. I, I don't know. If they, yeah, they got some males in there as well. I was going to say, sort of mix of both, male and female. Loving sort of the slightly androgynous look of a lot of the characters. Loving the guy cocking up, cooking it up. Oh my god, that's really cool. <laughs> Just like carrying this brazier, just like melting body parts and stuff. That's really cool. Oh, I'm going to get myself a unit of those. That's really cool. Still plenty more to come with the new battle team. I think we teased you by mentioning not showing you more yet. That's exactly what Slanash will want. Just make sure you keep up to date with all the latest information on Piety and Pain and the Heat Knights of Slanash for signing up to our newsletter. Okay. That is really really cool all right so as a reveal um nothing stunning i mean nothing we really haven't had a ha had a uh, a hint of before the slanesh stuff just looks brilliant it looks fantastic um they've done a really good job there uh you get the aesthetic it's all like fast whipcord fast fighters You've also got the, the, the ones from the previous release, Sigvar the Magnificent. You've got the two of the sort of the multi-part um, models from before. The, um, uh, the, the sort of the, uh, the, the, sort of the, the demonically possessed ones and the superb and the superb swordsman. I cannot remember what the name is for the life of me. Age of Sigmar. I love Age of Sigmar, but the, the names always get me. Um... The only thing I would say is I kind of I think we were kind of hoping to see the next new army coming up because I'm we've heard a lot of people saying oh it's the vampires oh it's uh, you know it, it's going to be a new order army or it's going to be a new uh, it's going to be a new destruction army or a new death army and I think we had a little hint about all of these Slaneshi things, which has been brilliant. And I know that a lot of people are going to be looking forward to those, finally getting a full-on Slaneshi army. Um, not a disappointment. Beautiful models. Just think that... I, I think that... Um, 
some people were kind of hoping for um, some some really sort of some really new stuff that I hadn't really even had a hint of before that was going to be like that big Christmas drop. I haven't seen anything too, but um, with their release schedule now changing to every other week, I'm guessing they have to save a lot of stuff to preview. Um, with the lockdown going on, there'll probably be lots of previews going on at home since the actual events can't happen. Yeah, really, really good. Um, really, really good little review. I'm very happy with that. Um, my, my comments as before don't change um, uh, regarding the Sisters of Battle and the Drakari box set. Um, and uh, some really, really nice um, new Slaneshi models being fully revealed for the first time. Let's start hoping, let's hope though that soon some of those Christmas reveals that we were teased all the way through the advent calendar period um, are also shown to us soon because I was really looking forward to that. One more thing I was really hoping to see today was rules for this guy. This one. I was really hoping to get some AOS rules for him today. Really hoping that for Christmas they drop the, the some, some rules for him to use in the game um, as a character model. I mean, I can definitely use him as an Arcanaut captain, but I was really hoping to get some actual Bugman rules, but they haven't dropped, so. Okay, um, that's everything, I think, for me today. Um, uh, that was definitely uh, a nice little experience. I've spent 20 minutes talking about those. Ooh, okay. Um, so, before we move on, just uh, I'd like, before we sort of end uh, what we're doing today, first of all, I'd like to say uh, a few um, thanks to our patrons. Um, for the channel, we have Basis Operations, um, Gavin, Cliff, um, Kevin, and it's just Bob. Um, and also to our uh, Twitch subs, we have uh, Plutonium OD, also Gavin. And uh, guys, we're going to do it without you. Thank you so much for all your help. It's absolutely uh, fantastic um, what you've done for us and supporting us. If you want to support us, you can. Uh, we have our own Patreon. Um, with the links uh, I'll be showing you in a moment and if uh, you don't want it that's fine thank you for turning in and uh, tuning in and uh, hopefully you, you like this video so um, also no, last little uh, announcement we have a, uh, a newsletter that we'll be coming out with um, soon there's our, sorry, there's our Patreon link down at the bottom there um, it's our Roll On To Glory newsletter we're going to be bringing it out by the end of the first issue by the end of this month um, and uh, it is uh, and for more information on that um, let me just quickly clarify a few things there, what you can probably get to see. Um, uh, the, there is basically, it's a posting, you, you can, it, it's um, we're posting some articles, you can also post adverts and events within that magazine if you wish. Promote your own work, your ideas, your art, social links, um, that you, uh, to share your social links. We have several different sections in it, the Artificers Workbench, um, where we get people uh, from our community to sort of share their tips, tricks and techniques. Um, the Tapestry Showcase to show off some uh, other people's uh, work so that we can uh, show their arts and craft displayed and credited. Um, some charity event adverts, uh, any fundraising and links for donations. Um, some lovely special event adverts for things such as conventions, things like and of course, at the moment with, with uh, COVID going on, we have good things going on like FlatCon, VidCon. So that's been really, really cool. Um, people looking forward, people joining the role-playing groups, um, some adverts for that. Um, buy and swap section. We're also going to have feature pages focusing on different hobbyists, what they do, their, 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 uh, what they like to do, personal business, share their, share their aspirations and um, what they've managed to achieve in the hobby. And also to highlight fun, interesting things about the hobby that we love, promoting fantastic hobbyists. It's really um, a, 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 a work of love. Um, the posting deadline for anything towards to us is for the uh, 27th of December, and um, everything we receive will be scheduled for the next issue. Um, patrons get the newsletter free and get early access before the public. <laughs> Um, so, uh, that's the end of our video today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been absolutely lovely having you with us. Um, and, um, yeah. Have an absolutely wonderful Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye.